Hello, everybody. My name is Lian Ke Qing at UC Santa Barbara, and uh, today I'd like to give a presentation of our paper, Online Adaptive Mahalala-based Distance Adaptation. This paper is in cooperation with Arvin Reddy at Northwestern University and Dr. Zhao Sun at Adobe Research. This paper is going to appear in actual big data to South End 23. Today's roadmap will be first, I will introduce our motivation of this paper, and then I will move to the problem definition. Then I will introduce our naive BL sketch based solution. And after that, I will move to our final solution. And in the end, I will provide some empirical evaluation of our, of our uh, method and also discuss our future work. The motivation of our paper. Nowadays, the choice of distance metric is very crucial for the success of a wide range of machine learning tasks. For example, the key nearest neighbors and the key nearest clustering. And in this paper, we focus on the approximate distance estimation problem, where the goal is to build an efficient data structure that can estimate the distance from a given query point to a set of private data points, even when the queries are provided adaptively by an adversary. In parallel to the large body of work on learning by analog based metrics, the use of sketching techniques has also become increasingly popular in dealing with real world data that is often, often high dimensional data and also extremely large in terms of the number of data points. And we will also leverage the sketching technique in our paper to accelerate uh, the approximate distance estimation. So at this part, let me first introduce the Mahalanobis distance definition. For a set of data points x from x1, x2 to xn in Rd dimension, a Mahalanobis metric D on space x is characterized by a positive semi-definite matrix A, which is Rd by D, such that the distance between xi and xj equals to the square root of the xi minus xj transpose multiply the matrix A and multiply the vector xi minus xj. And then let me move to the approximate product, um, approximate Mahanobis distance estimation definition. So for a Mahanobis distance characterized by a positive semi-definite matrix A in D by D dimension, given a set of data points x x from x1, x2 to xn in Rd, and an accuracy parameter, epsilon, between 0 and 1, we need to output a data structure D, such that given only D stored in memory with no direct access to x, our query algorithm must respond to query of the form Q in Rd by reporting distance estimate delta D1, delta D2, until delta Dn, specifying that for any i in, in 0 to n, the estimated distance delta Yd the i should uh, should not uh, should not ex uh, should, should have a very high accuracy that does not uh, does not lower than one minus epsilon and it does not exceed one plus epsilon of the real distance. Then uh, before before discussing our methods here, let me first to introduce a definition here, which is epsilon beta, beta representative. The definition is reused from previous work. It means uh, the definition is for a set of matrices uh, phi j in the uh, R n by k, and uh, the number of matrices is L. This set of matrices is said to be epsilon beta representative for any beta and uh, epsilon in zero and uh, zero point five. If for any vector v of of length one, we we know that there are uh, more than uh, one minus beta multiply L's matrix uh, whose uh, whose uh, after the projection of the matrix multiplies the vector, the length is is larger than one minus epsilon and smaller than one plus epsilon. If uh, if if a set of matrix uh, satisfies this definition, it implies that uh, is for any unit vector v, most of the projection uh, phi j multiplied v approximately preserve its length. And in the later, we will use this definition to uh, prove our uh, our algorithm. So we want our data structure uh, to satisfy uh, the following uh, APIs. We consider an online online version of the problem where the underlying Mahalanobis distance changes over iterations. This is an important problem because the distance metric A is learned from data and can change over time in many applications of Mahalanobis distances. For example, for an internet image search application, the continuous connection of input image images changes the distance metric A. We formulate our online version of the approximate distance estimation problem with Mahalanobis distance as follows. 
Look, we need to design a data structure that efficiently support any sequence of the following operations. The first one is the visualization. Uh, given the matrix uh, K by B, matrix U, which defines the previous monolithic uh, matrix A, where A equals to the uh, transpose of U multiply U, and uh, a and n data points, where is x y x two and to x n in the R by, uh, R D space, and an accuracy parameter epsilon, and a failure probability delta as input, and we want to support the update U and update x API. Basically, we can update the uh, the ace uh, row of the K by D matrix U, or we can update the data structure with the i's new data points. We we want to provide uh, two query API for a query pile, given two indexes i and g uh, in, in the uh, i to n range, we want to output a number p such that the distance, the, the p estimate is between uh, i minus delta, uh, multiply the distance, the Mahalanobis distance between xi and xj, and smaller than the i multiply epsilon, multiply the, uh, the Mahalanobis distance between i xi minus xg with a very high probability at least one minus delta. For the query all API, given a query vector Q in the RD space, we want to output a set of distance estimates, uh, tau tau D1, D2, and tau, until tau tau Dn in R, RD, such, uh, in R such that for any i in n, in zero to n range, we want to ensure that the tau tau Di is a good monologous distance estimation with at most epsilon uh, times uh, error with high probability of at least one minus delta. So before uh, before talking about our final solution, let's let's give an uh, example of the naive uh, GL sketch solution. Uh, in the naive GL sketch based solution, uh, we first to initialize the, uh, the data structure, and first we need to initialize the sketch size. The sketch size is a parameter determined by the number of data points n and also the accuracy parameter epsilon. And after that, for all uh, for all data uh, for all i in zero to n, we want to uh, fit the data points x i to x n and the let phi in our uh, m by k space. We want to sample the, the projection matrix entries drawn from uh, i id from the normal distribution and the mean value is zero and the standard deviation is one divided by n here. And for all for the, for the all input data points x i, we want to compute a projected delta x i equal to the phi multiply the matrix u, then multiply the x i. And if we want to query a query vector q in R d, basically we can compute the delta d i by computing a uh, projection of uh, phi multiply u multiply the query vector q and minus the delta the projected. Uh, the projected vector delta x i and compute the uh, the square normal distance and we return them. And we can give the following guarantees for our naive sketch solution. Basically, give, given a query vector q in R d, we query output approximate monologous distance estimates uh, d i in times uh, o d plus m multiplied k such that with high probability uh, one minus the delta the the Approximately Mahanolovis distance estimate tilde d i should be should not should not have more than uh, epsilon arrows, and uh, a equals to uh, u transpose multiply u in uh, it's in R d by d it is a positive semi definite matrix which capture characterizes the Mahanolovis distance, and uh, now we would like to further push our algorithm here, and here the following shows our uh, Final uh, final data structure to uh, to approximate estimate the Mahanolovis pseudometric maintenance algorithm. So here something is different from the previous naive algorithm. So during the initialization phase, in addition to to decide the sketch size n, we also want to initialize the number of copies of the sketches here, which is L. And when we do the projections for all the sketches and for all the for all the uh, for all the uh, data points, we want to do them for compute the sketches. And here, uh, we will do a lot of computation to compute all the delta x i j by using the projection sketching uh, phi j multiply the matrix u, then multiply the data points x i. Then this is the end of our initialization. And if we want to update a row of the matrix u, 
we basically, we first do, do the update to the matrix U, and then for all the data points, we need to uh, recompute the new delta X I J. As for the update on the data point X, so basically for all the uh, projection sketches, for all the error projection sketches, we need to recompute the delta X I J by using the phi J multiply mu multiply Z. As for our query API, here is the goal. For the query pi API, the so first we need to determine the number of sample sketches. Remember that we could have error sketches, but we will not always use all of them in each query. And in each query, we need to determine the number of sample sketches, which is R, and it is determined by the number of data points n and also the failure probability delta. So for all the for all the uh, for all the determined uh, sketches. We need to compute a TR, which is which is computed by the delta XIR minus delta GR. They are uh, they are they are L two distance, and we will compute the median value of all the PRs to come to obtain the final P as the approximate distance and return it. For the query all API, we need to first to determine all the number of number of sample sketches that also, and we we will need to sample R indexes, which is G1, G2, until GR, uh, uniformly with replacement from the uh, from the range between 0 to L. And for all the data, which is for I from 0 to N, and also for R in all the uh, sampled sketch indexes, we want to compute the EIR by using the projection uh, phi G, JR multiply U and multiply the query vector Q to minus in delta XIR and compute their L2 distance. And uh, for all the data points for i in 0 to n, we want to compute their median value to obtain the final estimated distance delta di. And then we return the set of di, where i from 1 to n. And then the next step is to show our guarantees from, for our final algorithm. And our initialized pre-processing time is O n plus d multiplied k n l. And our update u time complexity is n plus e multiplied uh, n l. And our update x time complexity is uh, o n plus d k l plus uh, log n time. And here comes to our guarantees for our final algorithm part two. For the query pile, given two indexes, i and j, we will estimate the approximate mathematical distance from x i to x j in time o and r and output and output in distance number p such that it, with high probability of at least one minus delta, the p has accuracy uh, has uh, has has accuracy of uh, one minus between one minus epsilon to one plus epsilon of the mahonologous distance between x i and x j. And similarly, for query all API, given a query point q, the query all operation takes q as input and approximately estimates the mahonologous distance from q to all these points in time o n plus d k and r time, and it provides a set of estimates delta d i, where d is from 1 to n, such that for any i in the uh, in the range 1 to n, the distance estimation delta d i has very high uh, estimation accuracy and with high test probability of at least 1 minus delta, even for a sequence of adaptively frozen queries. Due to time limit, we will not go through the uh, detailed proof of this uh, query uh, API. And uh, for the interested, uh, interested audience, please refer to our uh, paper. And uh, I would like to uh, give a brief, uh, a brief walk, walk through of the proof. Basically, to make our data structure resistant to adaptively chosen queries, we will use the epsilon beta representative definition in definition four, where uh, the where a set of matrix is set to be uh, epsilon and the representative. Uh, with with L independent initialization of random sketch data structure D satisfying the uh, epsilon and the 0 0.1 representative property, we know that for any given query vector, most of the sketch matrix approximately reserve its length. And uh, we can show that the projection satisfies the one minus delta or one or one plus delta approximate mahonomous distance estimation. Then we can we can define a set uh, which is the uh, the phi g multiply u multiply v its distance is smaller than uh, one plus epsilon and larger than one minus epsilon, and it has a size at least 0 0.9 multiplied L. 
and the query using any randomized Gaussian matrix give us epsilon approximation with constant 0 0.9 successful probability. And to boost the successful probability from constant probability to high probability, we can sample R, where R equal to the O log N divided by delta indexes from the set of G. And to obtain, uh, after obtaining the R estimates of the multinomial distance between Q and XI, by using the Hoff Hoffings inequality, we know that the median of the sample R distance estimates can provide our uh, 1 plus epsilon 1 plus or 1 minus epsilon approximate query with high probability. And now let's go to the evaluation setup. We use the gene expression tensor RNA sequence dataset from UCI machine learning repository. And here we set, we set the number of data points to 800. And the dimension is, is 5,120. And our machine configuration is uh, Intel i7 CPU with 16.4 gigabyte memory. And the Python version is 3.6.9. And our NumPy version is 1.20.2. And here, the number of sketches L we set as 10, and we will sample R equals to five sketches during the query all and the query pi operation. Our evaluation target is how is the execution affected by the sketch size n, and how is the query accuracy affected by the size sketch size n, and also how is the memory consumption of our data structure affected by the sketch size n. So first, we will like to evaluate our query all evaluation. From the part A of the figure, we know that the query all accuracy increases from 83% to 90% as the sketches increased from 20 to uh, 1,280. And we can reach around 90% distance estimation query when sketch size reaches 320. From the part B in figure, we show that the query all time grows from uh, 0 0.15 uh, second to 10.5 second as sketch size increases. Next is our query pattern evaluation. To avoid the query pi uh, evaluation randomness, and uh, we will evaluate query pi operation for 10k times per setting and the compute the error median value and also the standard deviation error. From the part A of the figure, we show that the query pi time increases from 0 0.015 millisecond to around 0 0.02 millisecond as the sketch size increases. The query time growth follows that the larger sketch size needs to higher computation overhide on the 5G multiply U multiply Q. From the part B of the figure, we find that the memory consumption increased from, from 164 megabytes to more than 2,000 megabytes as the sketch size increases from 20 to 1,280. Larger sketch size means that more space is required to store the pre-computed 5G multiply U and 5G multiply U multiply I matrix. Compared with the baseline sketch size, M, L, M equal to 1,280. When sketch size is 320, the memory consumption is 3.06 times smaller. For future work, we would like to leverage our data structure in conjunction with the online methodologist metric learning algorithm. And uh, thank you. Thank you for listening to my presentation. And uh, I would like to answer your questions. Thank you.